This is a Sterling engine. The design created by Robert Sterling is more than 200 years old. The idea is simple. Trap a gas, heat it up so it expands, cool it down so it contracts, and use that cyclical behavior to drive a piston. In this example, the heat from the boiled water is expanding the gas inside of the sealed chamber, driving the displacer upwards. Meanwhile, the cooler room temperature air is making it contract, driving the displacer downwards. That expansion and contraction is moving this piston and driving this flywheel. As long as that temperature differential between the hot and cool sides of the engine is large enough, the motion will continue. We've known that, in theory, the Stirling engine can be a quiet, efficient, low-maintenance way of generating power, but difficulties with manufacturing these engines have held it back from widespread adoption, along with some other challenges. But all that could be changing thanks to additive manufacturing. I recently visited a company called Hylian, which is using the principles of the Stirling engine to build power generators for large-scale industrial users. To do that requires really complicated parts, some very efficient heat exchangers, and to make those parts, Hylian is turning to additive manufacturing. Hylian's Carnot power module is a four-shaft system designed to deliver up to 200 kilowatts of power. To put that in context, just one of these systems could power an entire Home Depot store off-grid. Each of the four shafts inside of the Carnot core is essentially its own Stirling engine. There's a reactor on either end to heat up helium in a sealed off adjacent chamber. As the helium gas expands, it drives the piston and shaft to one side. As that gas moves inward towards the chiller, the helium in the hot chamber on the other side is being heated up and expanded to then drive the piston shaft back. Six out of the seven key metal components of each shaft are 3D printed using laser powder bed fusion. Each of these parts is very complex. They have complicated internal features, very thin walls, very thin fins inside, basically geometries that could not be produced any other way. Additive manufacturing is the enabler to bringing this 200-year-old idea to life in industrial power generation at the point of need. There's more to say about the Carnot generator and the use of additive manufacturing for more efficient power generation in our full-length article. But suffice it to say, this is a really powerful example of how additive manufacturing can enable products that never would have been possible before.